Let's imagine you're the President of the United States, congratulations, or I guess, I'm sorry, and you're presiding over the affairs of your country, one of which of course is the stock market. And most days the stock market goes up a little bit, some days it goes down a little bit, but generally speaking, as long as the economy is growing, the stock market is going up and everybody's happy. Except for you, because you'd really like some attention. And so the evil genie who made you President gives you a giant button. You don't ever have to press this button, but you can press this button up to once a day, and anytime you do press this button, the stock market immediately goes up 10% or down 10%. Now you might think to yourself, plus 10%, minus 10%, most of the time these moves will cancel each other out, so why not press the button and see what happens? Maybe we get a couple plus 10% in a row and we get lucky, right? Wrong! You have just cost your nation many trillions of dollars worth of wealth over the course of your presidency. When you hear about movements in the stock market, those movements are usually denominated in percentages. The market is up 2%. The the market is down 1%. And so it's tempting to believe, oh, up 10%, down 10%, this is gonna even out over time, right? But it's important to remember that when we're talking about percentages, we're actually talking about multiplying, not adding. When we say we're 10% up or 10% down, what we actually mean is that we're going to take our starting value, multiply that by 10%, and then add that back to the 100% of whatever we began with. That is, we add that back to our starting value, which is going to give us a total of 110%, or a total we could get to by multiplying by 1.1. Similarly, when we say something is down 10%, what we mean is that if you take the 100% something starts at and subtract away 10%, you're gonna end up at 90% of where you started, or again, as a decimal, 0.9 times as much as what you started with. It's tempting to look at this and think, that's basically offsetting, but remember, we're multiplying. If you start out at 100% of something and then multiply it by 1.1 for when you go up 10%, and then multiply again by 0.9 when you go down 10%, what you actually find is you do not end up where you started, you end up at 99% of where you started. This is not the biggest deal in the world, 99% is not that far away from 100%, but with things that grow in this multiplicative way, with what we call exponential expressions, 99% of where you started is actually really bad. Because it means every time you go through this cycle, every time the president hits that button and raises the market 10%, then lowers the market 10% over and over and over again, that 99% turns into 98%, turns into 96%, turns into, eventually, a really, really big loss. So, apropos of nothing in particular, if you had a giant red button that said, make the market go up 10%, make the market go down 10%, you should, in fact, restrain yourself and try not to smash that button.